friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. It's just this ho. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a fabulous friggin' weekend. Today's collab video is with Kevin Allen. Here you go. And I'm going to link Kevin's channel and his actual video down below. He has become a good friend of mine. He just started YouTube a little while back and he's just starting the whole thing. <laughs> but he's really into scents. So I said, I'm into scents. Let's do a top 10 favorite can't live without scents video collab together. And he was like, let's. So here's that video. You guys remember last year, um, it was the summer of slides. Thank you to Dawn who gave me the name of what to call that last year. But I, I went crazy. I went on a slides frenzy. I bought slides like crazy here, there and everywhere. Could not get my mind. I do that in the spring. Um, I buy a lot of stuff and then I get obsessed with one thing. This year it's fragrance. I am out of my mind. I've always loved fragrance, but right now it's on overdrive. I just can't get enough. I keep buying scents. I keep watching scent videos. So I just figured what the heck can't beat them. Join them. Let's do a scent video and I'll probably do some blind buy videos because I bought some fragrance and I want to share that with you. Um, I know you guys are used to seeing bags, and don't worry, next week we'll we'll unveil a bag for you. No problem, but this week it's all about the top 10 cents I cannot live without, and that is right now, because that changes all the time. Okay, scent of the day. Girl. It is this. It's, I just bought it, um, and I got it last week. And I really haven't even put a dent in this bottle. But look how pretty the juice is in this. Look at that. Oh, yes. But it's called Lipstick On. It's um, Replica. And it's by um, House of Margiela. Maison Margiela of Paris. Okay. Um, and it's such a cool scent. Um, when you first spray it, oh my gosh. It gives you this. It really is like lipstick like your mom or your grandma had when you were a kid. Like the... The smell that those lipsticks gave off back in the day especially when I was a kid because I'm in my 50s so it's yeah it's a thing it smells exactly like that and then it dries down into this like powdery vanilla I can't really describe musky not really musky but just a beautiful powdery scent so it changes as most scents do but it really does on my skin it just really goes from that nostalgic kind of cool scent and then it sort of dies down out of that it's kind of plasticky at first if, <laughs> if that makes any sense but then it goes right in when it dries to this beautiful gorgeous scent and they have apparently discontinued this i don't know if they're going to bring it back or not so i freaked out and found it on um mercari brand new um, still in the box, had the little cardboard cap over it. Uh, I was like, yes. And I've ordered another one of these scents. Um, I think it's called Jazz Club or something. And anyway, we'll do, and, and I've totally done that blind. So we'll do some scents and I'll go over like blind buys with you. <gasps> Scary, but fun. You never know. It's a surprise every single time. So that's my, uh, my actual scent of the day. I'm going to go right into this video. Thank you again, Kevin, for doing this with me. I cannot wait to see what you have. Guys, here we go with a mother effing seance. I can't find it. Here it is. It's this scent from way back in the day. And look, she's, yeah, and she's got stuff floating around. She's old. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. I've had this scent forever. But this was one of my signature scents that I wore all the time. I wore this little biatch every single day. I want to say for like a year because I just, I mean, look at it. It's almost gone. I think this was a 50 mil. But anyhow, um, I don't remember if it's EDP. No, it's EDT. So it did not last as long as it should. Um, this scent, though, seriously, uh, I'm going to read the notes off to you because I got this off of Fragrantica friend. Fragrantica, I'm new to this, so I don't know. Uh, raspberry, bergamot, orange are the top, pepper, vetiver, magnolia, the base note, sandalwood, amber, and musk. Okay, 
this thing does a weird ass thing but i love it when you spray it on the dry down is really good it's sweet and it's got like a musky you know kind of flavor to it or smell and then it dries down and you can do this and it smells like girl it smells like kind of smoky like a smoky room <laughs> like a cigar or maybe even a touch of a cigarette maybe and I, I don't smoke so <laughs> I'm not fond of that smell but it's just weird on your skin and I love it I'm all the way here for it so I have ordered a new bottle of this I think I got it on the fragranceoutlet.net for like 40 bucks the other day so it hasn't come yet but um yeah I'm gonna throw this one out because I can you see the liquid in it the juice has gone like <sighs> it's gone like separated and yeah she's she's past her prime but I do still love this and uh, I've even lost the cap on it I mean she gotta go but that is one of my top 10 in my fragrance collection as of this moment number nine oh my gosh another signature scent that um, I layer is and I want you to look how nattered and tattered this <laughs> label is gone so I got online and did find a 50. I believe this is a 100 mil and this is a 50, right? No, this is a 40 mil. Um, I was able to find, these are hard to find now. I don't think they're actually discontinued, but maybe, I, I don't know. I guess they might be, but it's, it's a Bulgari all, all the Blanc. So white tea, I guess is, yeah and so this one i had to replace you know because she's almost gone uh girl i wore this thing out let me tell you why this is such a great scent it smells really really fresh it does smell like white tea it smells like fresh clean tea scent that's what i get from it but i layer it i always use the um it's kind of hard to find too the matching soap it's a little round. You kind of get them in hotels. You can get them like, I know in Vegas, my cousin gets them for me sometimes when she, you know, because she lives out there. Um, she runs across a bar. She'll send them to me. She's actually the one that got me started on this whole obsession. So thanks. But I find them on eBay all the time. I guess people that work at hotels snag a box and, you know, sell them two, three, four, five, seven bottle, seven dollars a, a bar or whatever. But girl, I'm happy to pay it because I love, 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 love the smell. So I soap up with that. I use that soap today. That's what I use every time. And then I get out and I lotion with, they used to have this body drench. It was kind of like a lotion in a spray. Oh, so smooth, made your body so, but they did discontinue that. I cannot find it anywhere. I think somebody on eBay has a bottle for like 200 bucks. I'm like, no, devil no, we can't. So yeah, I don't use the body drench anymore. Um, I can't remember what they called that, but God, it was so good. And of course, after I do all the lotion, then I, so it's a very clean and, um, I want to say like projection on it is very good like people can you know what I mean smell it on you and I've had so many compliments I even had a friend hey Deb at work who wanted a bottle after she would smell mine you know she liked it so she bought herself a bottle girl so uh Bulgari uh let me just give you the notes on that white tea yeah pepper I get that jasmine the middle I think it's musk um Bitter orange, orange blossom, bergamot, cardamom, woody notes, um, jasmine, and amber rose. All that to make this magnificent, beautiful, oh my gosh, you see? Yes, girl, it is still, it's, it's a good scent. So coming in at number eight, top ten scents I cannot live without. This Victor and Rolf number right here, um, yeah, she's... She's being used, I'm telling you. I can't even describe the scent. It's so good. But, it, okay, now, I will tell you, um, the scent people call that siage, I guess, or scent bubble, I guess, how far it projects off your body or if it's like a skin scent. To me, this is more closer to a skin scent. Um, you can't really, you know, smell it. I don't know why I'm smelling. This is my other perfume, but you can't really, you know what I mean? You can spray and I spray heavily. I'll just tell you, <laughs> I spray heavily and, um, 
you smell it on yourself, but mm, it's not, you know, going too far. And it doesn't last very long, a couple, three, four hours. Um, this is totally like, to me, like a, just a daytime scent. Not that I do anything at night, but it, I'll wear it any time. I don't care, girl. I don't do nothing at night. But, girl, I love this. Get you some of this Victor and Rolf. You know, they're the people that do that uh, flower balm and spice balm and all that. Mmm, delicious. Now, what's in this one? It says it's peach, mandarin, orange, and orange. Uh, in the mid, it's caramel, orange blossom, jasmine. Uh, the base, it's got amber, sandalwood, guayac wood, and cedar. And I really don't pick up on that. But, you know, I, at the first spray, I do get that citrusy, peachy smell for just a minute. But then it dries down into a really light, beautiful, floral type. With just like a little hint of musky notes in there. I don't know. I can't... I'm not great at describing these yet. But, man, I, I think it's good. Um, I've seen some people describe it as like a little kid scent. And it makes sense because my daughter loves this. My daughter's one of these people. She's just 14, but... She's into scents so big, she can smell a perfume and then say, oh, mom, that smells just like, boom, you know what I mean? Or she'll say, oh, you know what I'm getting out of this? And she'll tell you all the notes. I mean, she's just got a really good nose on her. So, um, but this one, she and I both use, and it is, c'est magnifique. I love it. So this is a new one that I, I really have been into, um, and I have not used it much, but it's from Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty, I guess how you say that. It's Kaoli Vanilla 28. And I just, you know, where I've been watching a bunch of people um, do reviews and stuff and a bunch of the fragrance channels lately. <laughs> um, I just, I, I, tr I wanted to try it because I love, sometimes I love a little gourmand scent. Um, actually, it turns out I love a gourmand scent a little more <laughs> than I thought. Once I started really checking into it, I'm, I'm kind of hip. I'm into it. But this is really beautiful. I think it um, it goes on, of course, as a really strong, like, vanilla um, smell. And it's got that brown sugar in it. And it kind of is a sugary kind of, almost like a cookie smell. It's really, really good. But let me tell you um, the notes on this. Vanilla 28. Look at the the beautiful color of this juice or perfume the liquid is just gorgeous i don't know <laughs> anyway um the top notes are vanilla orchid girl jasmine mid notes brown sugar tonka bean base notes amber amber wood musk and patchouli turns out i love a lot of patchouli just not by itself as i was telling you on the uh, other day but girl i i don't know i just can't tell you so I had this on yesterday. I actually wore this yesterday, and it was real windy here. And the husband and I were outside, and um, he kind of got downwind of me, and a big gust of wind came, and he went, Ooh, girl, you smell so good. What is that? And I was like, that's my old girl. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I was like, oh, that's that new scent. <laughs> And also, yeah, no, I'm kidding, guys. I'm be, I'm just trying to be nasty. You know how I roll. Okay, so I love that. Uh, like I said, it dries down into a musky, like, I don't know. I like wearing it at night. Like, I sprayed it last night before I went to bed. It's a really good before bed scent. I don't know. It just it sets my mood right, girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so number six. It is Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Oh, M.G. Oh, my gosh, that peach, girl, that peach. Okay, I love this. There are so many notes in this Tom Ford scent. Let me just tell you. It has top notes of peach, blood orange, cardamom, heliotrope. Mid uh, notes are rum, cognac, uh, Davana, whatever that is, jasmine. And in the base, get this, all this stuff. Indonesian patchouli leaf, vanilla, uh, sandalwood, tonka bean, cashmirin, benzoin, styrax, labdanum, labdanum? I don't even know. And vetiver. No idea what all that means, but I just know it's gorgeous and beautiful. Oh my gosh, I do love this. Of course, it's very, very peach. Um, sometimes I just wake up like, yeah, I want to smell like a peach today. Let's do that. <laughs> 
Um, so I will tell you, I did that Jo Malone, who I now know, yeah, that's a woman, right? What's wrong with me? And I also know that um, when I did those scents the other day for you guys, I had a video where I did some Jo Malone scents. Um, there was one called Nectarine and Honey. I now know that Nectarine is a version of a, a variation of a like a hairless peach. I did not know. <laughs> I thought that was a totally different... But yeah, it makes sense. It does taste and look and smell like it. Okay. So, okay, just saying, I mixed the two the other day because I had that little sample. So I put that all over first, that Jo Malone um, Nectarine and Honey. And then I sprayed this a few times. Uh, yes, it's the perfect blend. You talking about I smelled like a succulent daggone peach all day. I sure did. I'm just going to leave it at that because y'all know I can be nasty as hell, but I won't. I won't. <laughs> I won't do it to you. But man, I do, do, do love, love, love that. Okay. Moving on. Number five. Guys, it's number. What's weird is I picked Chanel number five low as my number five and gosh excuse my bottles but i put my lotion on i lotion my whole body and then we go in with the perfume i know so if you see that my bottles look a little greasy that ain't all as greasy that's what she said no um if you see that they look a little greasy it's just where i put my lotion on but anyhow I do not love Chanel number no. five on its own. The the original Chanel number no. five, the 100 year old fragrance of Chanel. No, that's a big time no for me. But this, this scent right here. Oh, she's the mother effing one. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, it, it does have like a citrusy, clean, almost a green scent. Because I love to like get out of the shower, put my lotion on and then boom. Spray her all over and everywhere, girl, because she's so clean and fresh, and I do get compliments when I wear her. Um, but I'll tell you the notes in here, and look. Hey, Gwenny. I'm using my little notebook you got me, girl. My little David Bowie. Yes, Moonage Daydreams. That's a cool song. Okay. Anyway, I'll tell you the notes. Citrus. Um, top, out, uh, top notes are aldehydes. Lemon, neroli, mandarin, orange. Uh, the mid is the ylang, -ylang. Uh, jasmine, May Rose, and the bottom is white musk, orris root, cedar, and vanilla. But girl, what I just get out of it is just so fresh and so clean. I mean, seriously, I don't even know how else to describe it. It's just, you know, it's it's the base of that. It's, you know, you can tell that it's a Chanel number no. five scent, but it's just fresh and clean. And I won't wear Chanel number no. five, but I will wear this all day and every day. And I really, the bottle I got was so big. I've used quite a, I mean, I've used this several times, but look, I mean, I haven't even made a dent hardly in this bottle, but yeah, I love, love, love Chanel number no. five low. So the number four scent of top 10 scents I cannot live without right, right now is this Bond number no. nine. I told you the other day it was my scent of the day. I love to wear this at night too, as far as like going to bed scent. Oh my God. You just get that cocoa. It's like a cacao note. It's got the vanilla in there. Oh, man. I think there's some tonka bean. There's a little bit of coffee note to it, but man, oh, man. <laughs> I have sampled, because like I said, I'm, I'm into the fragrance right now in a big way. Um, so I have ordered a ton of samples from, because I didn't really want to do a blind buy, but I did do a blind buy on this. I did not pay full price because, I've again, I found this one on Mercari that somebody was like, no, she's not the one, and they wanted to get rid of it, so I scooped it up for cheap. I think this scent is like, because this is 100 mil, right? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, 100 mil. So somebody was like, yeah. Um, I told you, it's like bags. Fragrance is the same way. Somebody's not loving or trying to sell. Actually, fragrance is more, more so than bags, like... People are always like, no, she's not for me. She's got to go. And they will, you know, take a little bit of money as opposed to nothing. But um, so I scooped this up. It's a brand new full bottle in the box. Girl was brand new. So 
I was like, yes, I think I paid a hundred, right at a hundred dollars. And I think this is like a 350 to $400 bottle. Bond number nine. Okay. I don't get the hype on most of them. Cause like I said, I've sell, I've smelled about 10 of them lately. I do not get the hype. I've liked this one and, um, oh my God, I got Bill. I found Bill a whole bottle of New York musk. Yeah, and it is horrible. It smells like straight up BO. But I only paid like 80 bucks for it, and I guess that's why it was a full bottle in the box too. Not good, but it was a 50 mil, so it was terrible. <laughs> uh, but every one that I smelled, like centipede, yuck. I just, I don't like them. I mean, I know everybody's different with scents, but I don't get the hype on all of them. And I know they have like 100, but this is the only one out of the 10 so far that I like really, I love, I'm into this. Okay, so let me give you the notes on this Bond number nine, New Bond Street. It's, uh, the top notes are pepper, bergamot, lily of the valley, mid notes are chestnut. That's what I'm getting, chestnut, cacao, a little bit of coffee, I got that. The base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, leatherwood, and I'll tell you, it lasts forever. Try to wash this scent off, good luck. You are wearing that whether you like it two days, okay, for two days, <laughs> even after you try to shower it off. Mm -mm, it's not going anywhere. So it does last forever. That bottle's probably going to last me forever. It will go bad before I use it all. Okay, so getting down to the top three. So I am into, and it's been a couple years that I have really been into this. It's the Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, it's called Classique. And I think it's an older, but I smelled it by a sample. I got a sample of it. Somebody sent me a free sample and I went crazy for it. I was like, yes, I love it. Well, the sample they sent me was the classic. There's so many flankers on the original, which is this. I had this originally and wasn't crazy about it. And then when someone sent me a sample, me and my daughter were like, that's the one that we weren't crazy about. But <laughs> go figure um so i started using this and then i got that sample and i was like oh my god i really like it so i started trying to order the sample that i got and instead of getting that they sent me this which smells way different i can't even i don't even know which one this one is but it's classic it's eau de parfum i don't know but it's one of the flankers that he came out i think 2017 with the red special something i didn't like it as much I really wanted the one that was classic and the intense. So I went ahead and ordered this a couple weeks ago from someplace in Canada. Um, and it took a couple weeks. It took a while to get here, a week or two. Um, I guess it's been more than a couple weeks, probably three or four weeks ago I ordered it. And um, I've been wearing it, but it's not the intense. So I don't know if I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> I even have another bottle that I ordered. I know I ordered the Intense. It came as this, but it was a 50 mil in there. So, yeah, you got to really check. I mean, people will just send you, oh, here's Classic, and give you all the variations or the flankers instead of the one you really want. So, the Intense has um, Intense written on the can. You know, they come in like a can on the outside in red. So, I mean, I could find it, but... I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to stick with this. I love it. Now, it reminds me of my husband's <laughs> La Mail in the Jean-Paul Gaultier um, scent as well. It just reminds me of a more um, feminine scent like this, but, oh, God, this stuff's good. I love it on him. It's my favorite. I love it so much. Like, I tell him to use it all the time, and she's... He's almost gone, but yeah, that's my number three. Let me just tell you the notes on this one. Orange blossom. There's so much in this. Okay, there's orange blossoms, um, star anise, rose, mandarin orange, pear, bergamot, ylang ylang, ginger, orchid. Um, I think it's iris, tuberose. I can't even read my writing on this. There's so much vanilla, amber, musk, cinnamon. Like, it's just so... I don't know. It's so fresh. It's, it, it dries down. It's really sweet when it comes out, like a really sweet, intense. It is intense. And then it dries down to something that's beautiful and it lasts all day on me. Projection is great. I've had many compliments when I'm wearing it. So 
I have to say, kudos to the chef on that one. I do, I do love it. Um, I also want to try from Jean Paul Gaultier. I want to try So Scandal and uh, La Belle. I have never tried those. I want to smell those too. I'm just, I want, I want everything. My nose wants to smell everything since I lost my smell and got it back. Whew, girl, I want to try everything. So, no surprise to you guys. Number two on the list is, it was hard to pick a number two and number one because they could be interchangeable. But I just got this back in February. Husband helped me buy this Cosmic Cloud. Most expensive scent I've ever bought. Probably the last most expensive in this price range that I will ever get. Let's, fingers crossed. Um, but I could have bought a new bag of some sort for what I paid for this. So price point, yeah. Um, it was one of these special bottles, Frank Geary. I think I told you about this, but man, there's only like, according to Fragrantica or whatever, um, there's only like musk, blackcurrant, patchouli, bergamot. That's all it shows is as the notes in this scent. But man, oh man, oh my gosh. I really love it. Like, I don't know what it is about. I got that sample last year and I was just goo goo gaga over it. It's just so friggin' good. I I didn't really care anything about the special bottle. I just wanted what was in it. I just wanted this juice, man. It's, I love it. It's just a floral musk, really. But the way that it, it hits the skin, it comes out, and it's just a powerhouse, and then it dries down into this beautiful floral musk that I just want to smell myself all day. It has a really good projection. It performs really well. Um, I would say a good eight hours on this before you, if you have to spray again, but, you know. And, and I made a pretty February girl. It's first of, what, first week of April, and, yeah, she's made a dent in this one because... I love it. I absolutely love it. But at this price point, I got to go easy. I got to use some of the other scents for a while because mm -mm, she's never going there again. Number one, it has got to be, and like this one, you can tell, I mean, she has really used this one. Um, a Trap Rev by Louis Vuitton. Um, girl, I can't even with this. I love it. Um, all my travels. Um, when I travel, I put this in my travel sprayer too. Uh, I bought I bought a couple of travel refills before I actually bought this big bottle, and I got this. I didn't buy this um, through the actual uh, Louis Vuitton. I bought it from somebody, and I love, girl. I love. Oh my God! I, to this day, I mean, this is this is probably my signature scent now. You're okay, girl. So let me tell you the notes in this, a trap rev. It's lychee, yummy, ginger, bergamot, peony, um, cacao, Turkish rose. Um, yeah, that's all the notes in there. I mean, it could almost be a gourmand, but I don't know. I just get this fresh, sweet, and floral kind of like just with a little bit. You can tell it's got that lychee in there. Something in it is just gorgeous. I am in love with this scent, and... Man, I'm, I'm going to get this refilled when it's gone because I'm telling you, it's totally worth it. This was one that I spent a lot of money on, but I don't regret. This was worth the buy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today for my top 10 scents on my radar right now. I just smelled um, a scent called M uh, It's Dior. Uh, they gave me a sample of Ombre Nuit, so uh, Amber Night. It is so wonderful. Oh my God, I can't get my mind off that. Um, it's bergamot, it's grapefruit, rose, pepper. What else has it got in it? I can't tell, but oh my gosh, that one. Hopefully I'll be unboxing for you guys because I love it. So anyway, thanks again for watching my crazy top 10 favorite scents that I'm loving that I just can't get enough of man I can't I wish I could wear them all the time I I'm these scents right now I'm so crazy about fragrance right now that I just can't see anything else and I'm just I'm almost at the point where like oh, I can't wait to take a shower today so I can put on a new scent you know or I can't wait till I get in bed because I'm gonna put on this scent tonight you know 
crazy guys crazy hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and next week a special unboxing i got one of my reserves out and i can't wait to show you i'm gonna unbox that and uh, i hope you guys will join me for that head on over to kevin's channel i can't wait to see his favorite top 10 cents all right guys i'll see you later remember though one thing please if y'all see my husband don't tell him nothing bye i mean these two like oh, so sexy like hey girl hey what are you doing you smell good you do too <laughs> i know do you want me to buy you a drink no let's go get a room i mean that's how i feel <laughs>